So for today, we're going to be looking at the Ancestral Armor Set. If you guys don't know, we've already reviewed the armor. It's right here. You guys can check it out. We go through how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts. And we also go through all of these shaders that this armor has right here. So that way you guys can see just how it shaders. I go through all of the shaders I currently have, and it's really, really good. I really, really do recommend that one. As for Titans and Hunters, you guys have your videos right here and here. This one is really cool. We go through all of the armor sets for all of the pieces and make individual sets as we're going to do for this video. So really appreciate y'all looking at these videos because without you guys, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't be doing this. So I really do appreciate it. Definitely check out the Hunters and Titans though, because a lot of the pieces that I made are really, really cool specifically for the Hunters. I think the first set looks amazing. As for the Titans, I think the second and third are pretty, pretty cool. So let me know what you guys think. So the first set we're going to be using is the ancestral cover with the ancestral gloves. Um, the reason being, I just don't see myself using the helmet that much. And I just decided I'm just going to use it with the gloves because I know the gloves I will use a lot. So for the chest piece, iron simic robes, as for the exotic Promethean spurs, what I'm using, and this one might be weird for a few people. And granted, I do think it's a little weird to use this one, but for some reason, I think it just looks amazing with all of it. It's probably the fact that like the helmet has like a human face to it, not human, but like a character like a uh, stylized human face and the boots also have this stylized feet so that's probably why i feel like it looks good together and then we're going to be using the praetorian ornament specifically because this is cabal themed more so callus cabal themed which for me callus well i shouldn't even be saying this because it's also the same thing for his daughter but it's a uh, kind of like Mongolian themed and I feel like it's it's enough of a like okay I can see like the I can see why you use this type of thing so I kind of wanted to use a Japanese inspired look but to be fair a lot of the pieces that I have are Japanese inspired specifically only two two after this one so let me know what you guys think about this one I actually really do like this so let me just get that out of the way I think this looks really really cool for the shaders mind's eye is what I'm using because a I found it funny that it's called mind's eye and then the helmet has a big fucking eye in the middle but just because I like the blue I really think the blue really holds it all together and then Erebus glance for the arms because mind's eye did not look well with the or with the uh ancestral gloves I think it gave it a gold which I was not a big fan of as for the next set, this is where we get into the Japanese look. For the helmet, Iron Remembrance Hood is an easy choice with this, especially when you pair it with the Ancestral Robes. I think this shit looks amazing. And then for the arms, Thunderhead Gloves was an easy choice I made because it does give me that like, uh, kind of like that Japanese vibe where it's like, uh, what you called? Uh, I'm trying to think of the word, but it just it just reminds me of the Japanese look is what I'm the biggest thing about this one. As for the exotic, we're going to be using these swarmers. And this one harkens back to the first time I made the swarmers video, which you guys can check right here. This one, like this exotic, oh, has, has always reminded me of like a Japanese monk look. And I have been waiting for the moment to use these exotics. Granted, I don't think the ancestral robes is the best choice for this because I do think the swarmers just looks good as is. And I would have liked it without like uh, a crotch cloth. But I'll take how I'll take it however I can get it because like I there's other pieces where there's other Japanese pieces that I could have used and you'll see that one in the next step. But for me, I was like, fuck it. Swarmers looks amazing with it. I'm just going to use it. And then for the bond, we're going to be using bond of the Raven Shard just because again, Japanese look. I really like how this one came out because it does give off that Japanese look a little bit, a little bit, but it also looks like the same type of material as the shoulder pad, which is why I'm using it. So this one is definitely my favorite set that I've made from this whole video, just because it looks amazing. The ancestral robe looks fucking phenomenal. And with the iron remembrance hood, it really does look like a samurai helmet. Quick note for the shader reefer Galia is what I'm using because I really like the like navy blue I get from all of this and the purple and pink. I don't know what color this would be magenta. I don't know either way, the color I really do like as well, but I would probably switch this out for something a little bit more samurai, but overall, I like where my head was going for this one. As for the next set, this one is a little bit in the weird side. And I know that's the case because we're using Tusk Allegiance Hood, which is a really weird choice for me. And another weird choice, Anka Seeker, which is super weird because I hate that set. I've made multiple videos saying I hate this set because this is the PVP variant of that set. And I think it just looks good with this one. Uh, for the chest piece, Iron Remembrance Vestment is what I'm using as well. I love this 
the symmetrical look of it but i also love that it's samurai inspired because the ancestral boots obviously are that and then for the mark inspector's bond i'm so happy that i thought of this one because it, it fits it so well overall i really like this set this one is a little bit more like oni themed i guess you would say because of the test allegiance hood but i still think this looks amazing if i were to just bitch about this in one way i would probably just say i would just switch out the ancestral uh or not, i would i would switch out anka seeker for the ancestral arms is what i'm trying to say so overall i think the set looks amazing for the shader bloody tooth is what i'm using just because i don't want to really think too much and because the test allegiance has a tendency of taking the off color and i know that bloody tooth would just kind of retain that color so that's why i'm using bloody tooth and then last but not least we're going to be using the ancestral bond with the chitin slate to just completely turn it off and from here i have a lot of fun with it this is a set that i made for the dpa armor set for the warlocks which i'll have up right now and this set is so cool for the helmet arc light hood is what i'm using with the mesopelagic shader because with the stalwart tenant it gives too much orange and i didn't want a lot of orange in this set even though the arms painted kitsune has a little bit of that orange it's fine it doesn't really really bother me too much because there is orange in this whole set as well for the chest piece the dpa is what we're using i'm not going to say the whole thing because i don't want to but it, i call it the dpa just to, just to shorten it and i really like this chest piece it's really really cool for the boots we're using the alternate conduction ornament for the geomag stabilizers just because i think it looks really really cool especially aesthetically when you can when you like pair it with the arc light hood the painted kitsune and then the and then the dpa chest piece it almost looks like i have like electricity going through my whole body and that's like the whole point of the whole set like that's <laughs> that's really it and then for the bond obviously i didn't want a bond so i just turned it off which is super cool and i'm happy we have that now so let me know what you guys think i really like these sets to be fair warlocks i think you all want this because each set i was like man this set looks amazing even the first set i love the first set the first set looks amazing the second set i think looks even more amazing just because it gives off that japanese vibe and even the third set gives off that oni vibe which i really really fuck with and the last set is just super cool especially uh when we get like an arc themed season where they buff the supers for some reason and then we can use uh geo mags with the kamehameha's to i don't know it just i'm really happy with these sets let me know what you guys think appreciate you guys coming up to this point other than that be safe i will see y'all later